Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make um, chicken foot soup and these are all the ingredients that we'll be using. I have um, the favorite flavored soup mix and I have it in cock soup and pumpkin beef soup. I mix both of them and then I have the chicken foot, some peppers, turnip, um, corn, this is called, I call it chocho, I don't know if it has another name, I have some yellow yam, carrots, pumpkin, and um, Idaho potatoes, and flour, whole wheat we're going to be using. So I'm just going to show you how I um, clean and season the chicken foot. Okay, so I'm, I put the chicken foot in a bowl and then I'm going to just put some water on it because it's kind of frozen. Then I'm taking apple cider vinegar to wash it. Then I'm going to take a kitchen scissors to um, to cut off the little nails. I'm just going to take it and snip it like that. And I'm just going to continue doing this until I get all of them done. Okay, after I get done cutting the nails off the chicken foot, I'm just going to season them with random different powdered seasoning. I'm going to put some cayenne pepper, paprika, and a little bit of black pepper. along with a teaspoon of um, jerk seasoning. That much. I'm just going to mix that all around. I'm going to let that sit. Okay, while the chicken feed is seasoning, you could just put your water on to boil in the meantime while you cut up um, your other ingredients. So your first ingredient in the pot is the pumpkin and you want those to boil so it could dissolve and give the soup that orange color. So there you go. Okay the next addition to the pot would be the um, chicken feet. I'm just gonna drop those in so they could cook because they take longer than some of the other ingredients. I'll just throw in the extra seasoning. One of these spoons. Kind of stir it. And then I'll leave that to boil as well. Okay, so here I have the rest of the ingredients cut up. And here I have the um, Irish potatoes, the yellow yam, which is changing color, but that's fine, and the cho cho. And in here I have turnips and carrots. The corn, I'll cut later because I'm gonna. It's probably gonna be the last thing I put in, and I have the hot peppers. So that's that, and I'm gonna show you how I make the dumplings. Okay, to make your dumpling, you're only gonna need three ingredients, which is the salt, some water, and the flour. And I'm using whole wheat flour just because um, it's a little bit healthier. And I'm not doing this by measurement, just by um by Put eye. Flour in. That should be good enough for four people. Then I'm gonna just pour some water in and just a sprinkle of salt and stir. For 
the spoon. I'm just going to start using my hands. Okay, so now you just roll it. And you have that dough-like look. And then you can start pulling it apart and making your dumplings. Just roll it in a ball. And use the palm of your hand and kind of flatten it out. I'll make these perfectly. Still kind of sticky, but it's fine. Okay, so there you have it. I was able to make six, one, three, yeah, six dumplings out of that dough. And I'm just going to add this to the pot. I've added all the other ingredients, and what I'm doing here is crushing the pumpkins so it could have, um, so I could give the soup some color. So this is how the pumpkin looks when it's crushed and we're just going to add that to the pot. And then just stir. I need a bigger. Bigger pot. Okay, so I messed up. My pot is <laughs> packed. So um, I already added my katsu to that and um, the dumplings and everything is in there except my corn and I have three of them which I'm going to cut in two but I have no space for it so because that was over full I had a little bit of extra liquid instead of boiling the corn in... Um, and just water it'll still have like the flavor from that pot so that's what I'm gonna do but I just wanna add some pepper and I'm just gonna use a half of this I'm just gonna cut that in a half and I guess I use the bigger half now since I've added the hot soup this is where I determine if I need a little bit more salt or whatever see I got the dumplings they poof up more than it would with the white flour, so they're going to be puffy looking. While if it was the white flour, it'll be more flat like. So now I'm just going to break the corns in half and just drop them in here. And I'm just going to add salt until like the desired flavor pops up. For some added flavor and seasoning, I'm going to add a little bit of thyme leaf, as well as scallion, or scallion. So now I'm just allowing everything to simmer. Just put a cover over it I have it on like medium and over here we just have the corn boiling it's pretty basic I just want them cooked if I had space in the other pot I'd put them in that pot but I don't so okay this is the end result with everything in it's like packed to the brim but it's really tasty it's not um too thick I remember when my grandma used to make it she used to make it kind of thick it's not too thick or anything y'all yeah. the potatoes got kind of crushed um, but that's fine that means they're super soft the ones that aren't crushed corns are tasty because I did them with the pumpkin mix and it's a little bit spicy because I still have the pepper here which I'm gonna take out actually so yeah that is it that's my chicken foot soup you see the dumplings float into the top. Um, the white flour dumpling, they don't float like that. So, yeah, but everything else is in the bottom of the pot. 
and I will take some pictures and post at the end of the video. I hope this was helpful to someone and I hope you kind of get a feel for the traditional chicken foot soup um, from my country and I hope you enjoy this. Bye guys!